welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to check out how to play Despacito. This is a really fun song to play on the guitar, and a lot of requests requested it. So here it is. We're going to learn how to play the intro. Um, we're going to learn how to play the chords, just three or four chords in this entire song, and a really cool strum pattern as well that you can use in a lot of other Spanish songs as well. So let's get right into it. To play this song, you don't need any capo and we're in standard tuning. All right, let's see how to play the intro over here. For the intro, you're gonna need to have uh, a little bar over here on the seventh fret, third string, second string, and first string. All right, just gonna have a bar. So you're gonna pick the third string, second string, and first string, all right? And then you play 10th fret on the first string. And then you're gonna have to do a lot of pull-offs and slide so from 10 you go back to 9 then from 9 you go back to 7 so then from 7 you do a slide back to 6th fret so like that all right then you pick again on the 7th fret of first string so all right Then after that, you again pick 3rd string, 2nd string, 1st string on the 7th fret. Then you pick 9th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret, right, so. Then you come here on the 14th fret of 1st string. Then you pick 15th fret on 2nd string, so. So you're going to pick, here you have 14 and 15, and you're going to pick like this. String 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. All right, once again, string 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. So from over here, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Then in the end, So you're going to do a slide up all the way up to the 11th fret on the 3rd string. And then you pick 10th fret on the 1st string. So you can really do a slide from anywhere. Just make sure you go up to the 11th fret, alright? Then 10th fret on the 1st string, alright? Then you do a slide back. This is optional. You can do a slide back or you can just directly go to the 9th fret on the 3rd string. And ninth fret on the first string. So, and after that, as you can see, we're doing a slide back again from nine to seven on the third string, and then pick seventh fret on the first string as well. So, on this part, you get, and just as you pick that first string, you start strumming, all right? So, all right, so. That strum pattern that's gonna be happening for the verse of the song and in the chorus we're using a different strum pattern so now let's take a look at how to play the chords over here the chords that we're using in the song are B minor let's see how to play this chord there's different ways to play it if you're a beginner you can play it like this um, you just have fourth fret on fourth string fourth fret on third string third fret on second string and then you can have a bar on the first string and fifth string to play that first string and, and fifth string or just that first string then make sure you don't hit that fifth string all right so B minor chord let me just show you the chords first and you get a G I'm playing it this way third fifth on the top string I'm not really playing the fifth string because uh, it's covered under the, underneath that middle finger then you have third fifth and third fifth again on the first two strings I'm the D major, 2nd fret and 2nd fret on the 1st string and 3rd string Then 3rd fret on 2nd string Then you come to A Now you can play it this way or this way, it doesn't really matter 2nd fret on the 4th string, 3rd string and 2nd string A major, those are the 4 chords that we're using Now, 
If you want, you can have a little variation on A. You can add your ring finger in on the third fret of the second string. All right, so that you know gives a little a slight variation over there. It sounds really nice. Now for the verse, we're using this strum pattern. First, you're going to pick the bass note on each chord. So on B minor, you're going to pick fifth string because the bass note is over here, right? So, so the, the, the strum pattern is going to go like this. All right, so down, the first down strum when I say down is on the bass note, just over this, down. The next down strum is on all the strings. And right after that, you want to mute the chord. So there's lots of ways to do it, mainly two ways to do it. But what you want to do is you want to lift your fingers on, on the left hand, lift your fingers a little, right? After pressing them down, just when you strum, lift them to make sure that it doesn't make any sound anymore. So like that. So down, down, all right? And then while the fingers are raised, you want to do down, up. So down. And then again, press them down again and play down strum. So all in all you get down, 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 up, down. So all in all you get down, up on mute, down again. Okay, so then on the last down strum you want to lift your fingers again because right after that you're going to have to repeat that down, up on the mute. Then again press them down. So down. And again, down, up, down. You get it? So let me go slow. Mute, mute, mute. We're doing mute three times. When I say mute, you have to lift your fingers and do down, up on mute. Let's mute it down, down, strum and up, strum. So down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. All right. Then you come to the next chord. And you're going to do the same thing down will be on the top string on G down, down up so here you can mute the strings again just by lifting your fingers so that they don't make any sound all right and do the same strum pattern down down all right then you come to D major over here here Fifth, uh, fifth string and fourth string, or fourth string and third string, or just the fourth string, and then do the same strum pattern down, 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 down. Alright? And then go to A major and do the same strum pattern over here down, down. Now, to mute this chord, what I like to do is I like to use these three fingers because they're not doing anything. I just like to put them over the fretboard so that. You know, it completely mutes the sound. So, because if I lift my finger over here, you're still playing that fifth string because you haven't muted that because that's an open string, right? So, so that's why I like to put my fingers back on, not press them, just you know, press uh, put them over the fretboard. So, down, up, down, and then when I do down, up, it's again on that, on those uh, fingers over there which have uh, put it put on the fretboard. So. And that is it. That's the strum pattern that you're going to have for the verse. And I keep repeating that for the verse. So that completes your verse over there. Now we're going to check out how to play the chorus. You know, I wish I could sing this a little bit um, to make more sense of it, to make more sense of the strum pattern, but I really can't speak any Spanish and I don't know the lyrics as well so now we're gonna check out how to play the chorus which is gonna go like this now when we go to the chorus before that chorus when we're ending on A on the verse uh, you're gonna make a little change to move to the chorus so let's suppose we are ending the verse over here that's what you want to do so da down, down, mute, down and then do a down strum that will be the ending of the verse and then we go to the chorus all right so, so then, then when we do the last down strum that's when you start singing the chorus right 
now we go to the chorus. So the chorus strum pattern is a bit different. You can continue playing the same strum pattern if you want, but I like to change it a bit because this makes more sense in the chorus. So this is what it's gonna sound like. All right, so we're back on our B minor chord, going to do this. So let's break this down. First, you're going to do down, down, up. All right, down, down, up. Then you're going to do a muted down strum. So for that, you can again, lift your fingers with the left hand. And at the same time, when you do the down strum on the right hand, you can make sure that your palm hits the, fret, the strings first, and then you're doing the down strum. So like that, right? So even if I don't have my left hand, I can still do a muted down strum like this. You see, that's because my palm is hitting the strings, it's muting the strings, and then I do the strum. So in slow motion, it's gonna look like this. Here comes my palm covering the strings. Here comes the pick. Try doing that. So, down, down, up, mute. And then you do up, down, up. All right, so down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. And you're gonna do this two times on each chord. So down, down, up, mute, up, down, up, and again. All right, so that whole strum pattern is done twice on each chord. So B minor, down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. And again, down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. Go to G. All right, so go to D major. Go to A. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you want to use, you can use that third fret on second string. So here, you can do down, down, up, mute, up, down that and the second time just do on image down, 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 down. right so that's gonna be a chorus let's start with the ending of the verse do another thing instead of doing the whole strum pattern on A you can just do down down up mute up down up and just down strum the next line because then you start with the next line of the chorus right down down up, 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 up. go back to it right so that's gonna be a whole chorus you can just play that uh, over again for the entire chorus and you know that is it for the entire song because I've given you the two main strum patterns, and you're gonna play that for the whole song. Um, and that's chord progression for the whole song, S, B minor, G, and then D to A. So I hope you like the lesson. Now we take a look at how to play the lead guitar part for the chorus. So I played this in the demo as well, uh, the lead guitar, the melody for the chorus. So let's see how to play it. So we start on seventh fret on third string. Seventh fret on third string. Seven, six, four. All right. Seven, six, four. Then four, four, four on the fourth string. And four, four, four on third string. So. So from the beginning, after that, open, open, open on third string, and four, four, four on third string. So then six, seven on third string, and then seven on fourth string. So. 
And after that, you got 777 on the fourth string, all right? And 777 on third string, so. And you have 55 five on second string and 6 on third string, so. And you're going to repeat this whole segment again. And you can again do 7 and 6 on third string. Then you go to the next part of the chorus. Repeat it again. So here you are on seventh fret of second string and fifth fret of second string. So you do seven five seven five seven, all right? And again five seven. So seven five seven five seven five seven. So here you have right once again then after that so here you have seven eight eight on second string and seven and fourth string then seven and fourth string again so here you have eight 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 on second string 5 on 1st string and 8 and 7 on 2nd string so then after that 7 7 7 8 7 5 then repeat this whole thing again now here's a change So in the very end, instead of this, you have, so this is 7, 7, 5 on 1st string, and you have 8, 7, 5 on the 2nd string, so, alright, so that is uh, what I played in the demo, um, I hope it helped, uh, you can, if you want, you know, you can uh, play a lot more melody in the song you can add a lot of solos if you want and that is it for this pasito i hope you like the lesson make sure to check out more song lessons on my channel thanks for all your support all the likes all the comments i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next lesson till then take care and goodbye Hola amigos, hoy vamos a aprender a tocar Despacito, una canción que es bastante sencilla, pero tiene un punteo bastante interesante. ¿Te gusta la idea? Pues vamos a ello. Esta canción empieza así. Y bueno, esta es la intro, pero antes de aprenderla vamos a aprender lo que es la base de la canción, es decir, los acordes y el ritmo. Y después ya vemos justamente la intro y nos será más fácil aprenderla de esta manera. Vamos a empezar viendo los acordes que, sorpresa, como en todas las canciones de este estilo, solamente son cuatro, además la misma progresión. El primer acorde es Si menor. El segundo acorde es Sol. Tercer acorde Re mayor y cuarto acorde La. Y el ritmo que vamos a hacer es este. Vamos a empezar dando una parada aquí, 
ya sabes, una parada percusiva, dando así, y ahora rasgueo abajo. Parada, rasgueo, parada, rasgueo. Te recomiendo que lo practiques despacito. Un, ta, 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 re, la. Y bueno, esa sería la estrofa básicamente, yo no sé cantar ni, ni soy cantante, pero eh, es lo que hace durante toda la estrofa. Después lo veréis exactamente con el vídeo demo donde os van saliendo letras y acordes, que os dejo el enlace aquí abajo. Durante toda la estrofa hace ese ritmo y esa progresión de acordes. Y después de esto llegamos a lo que sería el estribillo, que sería la otra parte que tiene la canción, donde utilizamos los mismos acordes y solamente variamos el ritmo. El ritmo del estribillo sería así, mira. Empezamos igual, parando, y la damos abajo, arriba, paramos y abajo. Tum, taca, tum, ta, 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 tum, taca, tum. Perfecto, ya tenemos toda la base de la canción. Después verás en la demo que se repite una y otra vez. No tiene más vuelta de hoja. Solamente toca la estrofa con el ritmo que hemos visto y el estribillo. Y en la parte que rapea, pues toca lo mismo que en la estrofa con el mismo ritmo. No tiene más misterio. Ahora vamos a ver los arpegios que hace la intro y el punteo. El primer arpegio que aprenderemos es este, mira. Para tocarlo, tal como has visto, utilizamos la misma progresión de acordes de antes y vamos a empezar con el Si menor y daremos aquí tercera cuerda y ahora daremos primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda. Siempre lo mismo. Tercera. Primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda. Y ahora, fíjate, porque cambiamos al siguiente acorde y volvemos a empezar. Tercera, primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda, tercera. Y cambiamos al siguiente acorde. Y resolvemos el La. Aquí no arpegiamos. Esto es un poco. tiene un poco de truco porque el tema es que tienes que cambiar y sin que pare el ritmo y empezar siempre aquí, ¿vale? En la tercera cuerda. Voy a hacerlo una vez despacito para que veas cómo te tiene que quedar. Ahora rápido, a la velocidad de la canción. Después de ese primer arpegio, llegamos a un segundo arpegio que lleva un toque más latino, que hace así.
Y bueno, este es un poco más fácil en ejecución, pero hay que tener muy claro el tiempo que lleva. La misma progresión de acordes y empezamos dando en tercera cuerda, primera, segunda, tercera, primera, segunda, tercera. Mira. Ta, 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 ta. Ese es el ritmo. Ta, 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 ta. Y antes de empezar con el arpegio damos así, un raquetito hacia abajo en el acorde. Ta, 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 ta. Cambiamos al siguiente lo mismo. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. ¿Vale? ¡Fantástico! Ahora llegamos por fin al punteo y bueno, es la primera frase que te voy a enseñar es un poco complicada por la velocidad que lleva. Hazte así. Fíjate. Empezamos así, con el índice en traste 7 de tercera, segunda y primera y ahí damos esas tres cuerdas a la vez, raqueando desde la tercera cuerda y ahora venimos a traste 10, 9... 7, 10 de segunda y 7 de primera. El truco para que te salga rápido es hacerlo todo ligado. ¿Vale? Si no te sale tan rápido, pues no pasa nada. Lo toca despacito y pasa a la siguiente frase. La siguiente frase empieza igual, con el mismo rasgueo aquí, en el traste 7, y ahora arrastramos al traste 9, 10, 12, 14... Y tocamos 15 con segunda cuerda con el dedo corazón. ¿Vale? Eso es, mira. Y ahora venimos aquí. Que esto es básicamente tercera cuerda traste 11. Y primera cuerda traste 10. Ahora arrastramos con mismo dedo el dedo corazón al traste 9 de tercera cuerda, traste 9 de primera y misma posición hasta el traste 7 en tercera y en primera cuerda. ¿Vale? Aquí va. Llegamos a la siguiente frase que hace así: primera cuerda, traste 10, 9, 7, segunda cuerda, 10, 8. La frase número 5 hace así. Que bueno, traste 8 de segunda cuerda y en primera cuerda traste 10, 9, 7, 9, 10 y traste 10 de segunda. Y venimos a la penúltima frase que hace así, traste 9, perdón, 10 de segunda y en primera cuerda traste 10, 9, 10, 12, así. Y volvería a hacer la frase que hemos visto antes. Vale, voy a tocar despacito la intro para que veas cómo sería. <ríe> despacito, venga. Tres y... Ahora vamos a tocarlo un poco más rápido. Tres y... Pues ya tenemos toda la canción. Ahora lo que te recomiendo es ponerla en práctica junto con el vídeo demo que tienes en guitarraviva.com. Si te ha gustado, nos vemos en el próximo vídeo o allí, en Guitarra Viva.